information and data exchange or interoperability. I would frankly suggest that government purchasing agencies should very seriously consider whether um, OOXML, the ISO OOXML standard, falls into this category because I and I think many others would suggest that OOXML does not provide appropriate means to achieve information and data exchange or interoperability. So I would suggest that serious consideration should be given to the proposition that OOXML is a standard that is technically inadequate for its purposes and should not be permitted to be used as a standard by government procurement, procuring agencies. Secondly, um, and this is not one that occurs very often, there are no means to establish that a product conforms to the standard. Um, and naturally, if it's a pre-standard and it doesn't lack the, net, the necessary stability, then it, it, then it, it doesn't meet the, the purposes. Um, and then finally, a sort of a catch-all, if after careful consideration, there are important reasons of cost effectiveness that the use of the standard is inappropriate. So, I, I, I earlier indicated that, that all is not well in this world. Um, there are many instances where the rules, the existing rules, are not applied. I'm going to come back to the question of how the rules might be changed. But with respect to the existing rules, as uh, the OFE discovered in its study of 2008, there are quite a lot of problems in this context. There are fairly often calls for tender that specify particular companies and products. Um, there are a number of instances where the tender calls for named products using negotiated procedures with the sole justification that those procedures um, are required because the entity, a particular entity, owns the intellectual property rights. Uh, and there are calls for tender that don't require software from specific companies, but that uh, require compatibility with previously purchased proprietary systems. Uh, and as I indicated, the possibility of using that sort of approach is and should be very limited. So there are quite a few problems. Um, one example of where there have been very serious problems that has been addressed is the microprocessor context. Um, it was discovered that um, in various ways, public tenders were formulated in ways which essentially required the procurement of Intel microprocessors and excluded microprocessors from, for example, AMD. And the commission became convinced that there, was, there were quite a number of such problems and the commission brought um, actions against, formal actions against a number of countries, um, some surprising ones, including Sweden and the Netherlands. Um, and after the commission,